What's up, my beautiful Aries? Trust your intuition for guiding you to this waning gibbous in Libra reading. So this is covering February 9th through the 12th. So waning gibbous energy is all about letting go, releasing, and then Libra is the sign of balance, harmony, alignment. So we're really getting rid of the shit that's in the way of our alignment, our balance, our inner peace. Libra is also ruler of relationships. So this is this could be the energy of cutting someone out you know, friends that you kind of find out aren't really your friends, people that are just kind of in the way of your alignment. So let's see what's coming out for you, Aries. Let's dive in. And of course, this is a love reading. So be mindful of that. We're going to see who's coming out in your love energy. Give me the clearest energy you got for Aries. What's coming out? In their love energy. What's going on for Aries? For the Wayne and Gibbous and Libra. Self-respect. Yes. Love to see it. I'm hearing for a lot of you, this means cutting people away. This person is on a solo dolo journey of high vibrations. I mean, there's a reason they say it's narrow at the top, but there's also fairies. I feel like you're receiving a lot of guidance. You're receiving a lot of celestial guidance at this time your spirit guides your ancestors angels fairies they're all looking out for you so you have a lot of angelic energy a lot of protection i would say going on behind the scenes but there's definitely this energy where i feel like the universe is telling you like if if it means you gotta drop people to be on your highest wave go ahead and do that Yeah, even the bottom of the deck energy, forgiveness and maturity, I just feel like this is, this seems like level up energy, right? Maybe some people even do owe you apologies, Aries, um, but I feel like you're just trying to mature past, I feel like you're just ascending past people, honestly. This kind of makes me think of the energy where it's just like, you're not even falling out with people, it's just like, we don't even have anything in common anymore. And as this pertains to your love life, yeah, this could definitely mean you're dropping people. Give me more for Aries. Tell me more for Aries. So they're pointing my eyes to the 28. So this could be in relation to an X because 10 Roman numeral is X. So maybe you are cutting out an X, having some self-respect. Maybe you're blocking an X because no one's coming up here in your ivory tower. There's a lot of self-love energy, and obviously self-love means that you have a sacred energy that not everyone can have access to. So I feel like there's an energy in here about access, but also 28, there's 28 days in February, what, right? So without a leap year. So there could be something popping off by the end of the month that's being set in motion with this waning gibbous. But let's see what else is coming through, Aries. The Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this is a happily ever after. You know, we got the dad and the mom and the kids. Everyone's good. The rainbow coming after the rain. The lotus flower. So it's like a really nice visual. But in reverse, it almost spells out a breakup or a divorce or something like that. Tell me about that Ten of Cups in reverse. And the one under it. Okay. The Three of Wands in reverse. Yeah, there was a delay in progress or something getting started. This is a card all about establishing. You know, it's kind of like, okay, I got all the resources. What do I do with them now? This is like starting off, building, developing, in reverse. It's just like there, something got in the way of a happily ever after for you. Yeah, the hermit, and you had to go your own way. It's all over this, Aries. There's just some energy where you're going your own way or you had to go your own way. And I feel like you're working hard, too, with the Eight of Pentacles here, Seven of Pentacles. You're kind of just looking at the way things are going. And I feel like you're making a lot of smart decisions about it. I feel like, yeah, there's just a lot of self-care here. I feel like you're choosing yourself over other people, which I actually love to see. Give me more for Aries. What does Aries need to see the clearest energy for Aries? Tell me more about this self-love journey and how this relates to their love life for the waning gibbous and Libra. I'm hearing this is more than just the waning gibbous and Libra. This is a lifetime thing. Okay. 
Ooh, I love this, Aries. Romance and sweetness is coming out. Flowers. Someone's definitely going to give you your flowers, offer you something, right? I feel like this is definitely a love connection, someone coming in. It's almost this energy of when you're going your own way, when you're choosing yourself, when you're about to be in this energy of dating yourself and saying, fuck the bullshit, I'm no longer accepting breadcrumbs. You know, you want to fucking come home late. You barely want to call me. You know, it's, it's too much when I do text you. It's almost like this energy of getting just half ass bullshit that you're just like, I'm done with it. Like I'm choosing me, I'm going my own way. And the more you love yourself, the more I'm getting this feeling that someone is coming towards you with an offering. It's almost like you're gonna meet this person on the vibration of love, like self-love. So give me more for Aries. Tell me more about this energy. Especially for the waning gibbous in Libra. So this doesn't always mean that this energy is gonna like pop off or happen at this time, but it does mean that it's being activated in your vibration in some way, meaning at least energetically, this is what's going on. Give me more for Aries. What is it that Aries needs to see? Ooh, gifts. So there definitely is blessings coming towards you or are blessings, I should say. Gifts, flowers, I'm getting this really rainbowy, high vibrational energy. I feel like the more you choose yourself, Aries, the more the universe is throwing somebody on your path that I also feel like is choosing him or herself. I love that we have the man and the woman kind of hermit energy here because I feel like this is exactly what's going on. You're both on your own journeys and then you're going to meet on this very, very high plane, this high vibrational plane. So give me more for Aries. The universe knows exactly what it's doing. That's what I'm hearing. Look at this heart guarded. Yeah, because I feel like you are only letting certain people into your ivory tower as you fucking should. You shouldn't just be getting, giving everybody the key. And I, I feel like you're not. Look at the bottom of the deck. Patience. They're telling me to take it out. Yeah, there's absolutely someone coming in for you. This person is also very free. Take that one out too, I'm hearing on their own path, doing their own thing. And I think they don't let anybody in either. Like this is gonna be a very, very sacred relationship. It is already, I feel like this is already in the works. It's just waiting to be completely manifested or aligned. So the more you choose yourself and the more you go your own way and the more intuitive you are about life, the more you're gonna find this person of your dreams, Aries. I feel like you and this person both share very strong convictions. Like you're both, going your own way and somehow it's it's like you're both meeting in the ivory tower give me more for aries tell me more about this energy tell me more about this energy okay so we have clover coming out writer yeah i'm really getting this feel this could be another aries too i always get that with writer like adventure energy kind of aries ish energy and then clover is all about good luck there's so much fortune blessings gifts flowers coming towards you the more you're choosing to go your own direction it's possible this person might have a cat that's a hint um, bear energy. This is like very devoted energy. I'm also getting something with crystal clear. The bear is looking at the crystal. Can also be like a strict energy sometimes too with bear, which I'm getting to with guarded and the ivory tower. It's like you and this person are very similar in that you don't just let anybody in. You're not just going to, you know, give your keys to your house to the first person that calls you pretty or is like hey aries you out here looking sexy it's like come harder like what else you got for me i feel like that's really what's going on here you're just not accepting little bits of bullshit you are accepting big energy and i feel like that's what's coming to you as soon as you choose yourself I love that we have tree, which is all about growth too. So you and this person in divine timing are coming together and then I feel like it's almost like this family energy. It might even take a breakup though for this to happen for you, Aries. All right, let's see through the charms what else Aries needs to see. What's the charm for Aries? For the waning gibbous in Libra. 
Sunflowers, ah, okay, gratitude energy with the avocado. Every time I see this, I always think of that video with a little boy who gets an avocado for Christmas and he unwraps it and he's like, an avocado, thanks. And it always just makes me think like of gratitude, like how appreciative he is of that little avocado that he got. So there's something with gratitude with that for me. Um, and I feel like this energy with romance, sweetness, flowers, this person is going to be so grateful that they met you. It's almost just like this energy of like, fuck it, these people are trash. I'm going to go my own way. I'm going to vibe on my own. And somehow you guys are led to each other in the most unpredictable of ways. And I feel like this person just didn't expect to meet you. And I don't feel like you're expecting to meet them either. But it's going to happen, Aries. So that's beautiful. Give me more for Aries for the waning gibbous and Libra. So we have Pluto and Capricorn in the 10th house. So Pluto and Capricorn. Pluto is all about death, rebirth, transformation. And then Capricorn is the father sign. This is the sign of um, like being a provider and being very determined and hardworking. Could also be about career. So this could be about a transformation in career or it's almost like an inspiration energy of like determination in the 10th house also career related this could also just be you ending a career thing too choosing to do your own thing and maybe that's what leads you to this person interesting energy aries yeah it could be your career that leads you to this person or going your own way or maybe you're going to be like a freelancer or an entrepreneur and somehow that's what leads you on the path to this person but i'm definitely getting that there's a shift and either your ambition, your career, um, the way you're kind of going at something. And it's definitely leading to this person. For some of you, that, that just means like cutting out an old energy, whether it's a career, whether it's, you know, a relationship that's just not doing it for you. There's definitely something about making the choice to go your own way. So Aries, I love this. I hope it resonated with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, head on over to themoonempress.com or my Etsy, the T-H-A, moonempress.etsy.com. Check you later, Aries.